We've got Captain Sonny Schindler with us of Sure Thing Charters. And uh, Sonny, one of the favorite baits of, I know, speckled trout, redfish, flounder, triple tail, or anything that swims in the Gulf of Mexico is a live croaker. Now, you've got one there. Show us how you bait a live croaker on a live bait rig or on a Carolina rig. We're going to use a Carolina rig here. Let's see if I can get them to croak for you. There you there go. You go. <laughs> you, uh, I'll usually start rigging them through the nose. They actually have nostrils, and you could pop pop that kale hook through there through the nostrils and that guy is going to swim just like he would on his own you'll be using your carolina rig bumping him through some oyster shells or some troughs and he's going to croak and he's going to panic and he's going to run now excellent way to do it you will because these fish will get inhaled so if you're missing fish and you know they're there but you can't get them and you don't want to waste your you won't waste as many croakers doing that, but when you find them, they're thick and they're hungry, get that sucker through the back right there, and he won't come off. He's going to wiggle. He's going to panic, but those fish have to get to that hook. But if you're exploring, looking for fish, go through the nostrils. You won't lose as many croakers. When you find them and they're there, go through the back. All right. So if you want to learn how to, how to rig croakers for fishing for speckled trout, redfish, flounder, or triple tail, uh, that's the way to do it.